and in this we go to import couple of packages so let me do it very quickly so here we have the alpha router the router which we have created this is the package we have installed so if i come back to the package json file in that you can see this is the package we have installed and from here we are getting the alpha router so this is the alpha router this is the ether.js package in that we are taking this big number and ether and here we are using the sdk code from that we need this token currency output trade type and percentage for setting up the slippage so make sure to do this import and here i have the v3 swap router and we are using the contract address for v3 swap router so this is the address make sure to also view and get it and here i've taken the chain id to one because we are connecting the main if you connect with gorilla or any other network they have different chain id so you can provide that so but we are using this chain id one as a main and here i have my provider so this is the ethereum rpc one which i've got from equity and that's what i've paid so these are the basics that we have done and now we can start creating the data so let's come here here we go to take a couple of variables so we'll say commerce first we're going to take the name of the first token and in that we're going to define let's go with the hardcore value okay for the timing but later we're going to make it dynamic so we'll say wrapped ether no take a symbol symbol of the first token and this is going to be ET with we'll take the another one this will become the decimal points decimal so this will become 18 and we'll take another one this will become the address entity. address of the token so make sure to add this so make sure to add this zero because we are dealing with two tokens so that's how we can keep uh, differentiates and here are the addresses i have i guess let's come here the address of the token i have into this go to the context inside the context and here i have the address of the width i grab that one i'm going to simply paste here so this is the first token we have now we're dealing with the other token which is a type and here we have to do the changes so this will become the select this and turn it to one so we have that one now let's convert it to uh, die the symbol is going to be die and then we'll have the 18 decimal points and let's come back to the utils functions api feature in that i have the address of the right token so we'll grab this one and that's what we're going to simply pass it here so these are two tokens right now we have taken as a hardcore value but later we're going to do it dynamically okay? so that's what's pretty fine here now here we have to get the token data so we'll say token and now we have to get the token data so we'll say width and here we're going to use this new token and then we have to pass the first data we're going to pass is the chain id the second data we have to pass is the address of the first token the second is going to be the decimal point we have taken the variable and now we have to take the symbol and at the end we need the name so these are the data we are taking so they replicate the same thing for this other token and here we're going to say die and this will be one once so there we have the token and this is the function we are using and it's coming from the sdk okay that looks fine come down now we have to create a function export const and then we're going to call our swap swap date price because this is the function name we have given if we come and have a look into our context that's the exact name we have given let's see when we're importing that and yeah swap exact import this is the name we have given we have that now the async function and then we're going to receive a couple of data so first is going to be the input amount amount we need the slippage amount we have the line we have the word address addresses these are the data we're taking input slippage deadline and word address okay once we have that now we can simply call this and then we have to do a couple of things so first thing we have to take the percentage slippage slippage new percentage and then we will simply pass the slippage amount and this function will convert it into a percentage so if you pass one it will convert that into one percent if you pass 25 it will convert that into 25 and that's the percentage we have now we have to take this weight and then we will take the amount we'll call utils and we have to simply convert that so we'll say pass into and then we have to simply pass the input amount to string and we have to pass the decimal when we have now we have to take the currency we'll say amount we'll say currency currency dot and then we have this method called for raw amount and that raw amount we have to pass the width the amount we have taken and we have to take this big number and we have to convert into a little format so we'll say big number in that form and pass the way amount that's what's pretty fine so what we have that now we have to build up the router so we'll say const route await and we haven't built the router so let's come up here and we haven't built the router yet so we have to build so we have to build the router so let's come here in the provider section then here we have to build the router so we we'll say const router and that we're going to use this new alpha alpha router we have imported on the top and then we're going to pass an object so first thing we have to pass is the chain id and the chain we are connected with so we are connected with the chain id and let's make it to this chain id to chain id and we have to pass the provider so we have the provider we're going to pass the provider okay so that's what we find this is the router we have now so we grab this i come here and here we have to construct that router dot route route and then we have to pass the currency amount we have to pass the die we have to pass the trade type and then we have this function called exact input so whatever the user is providing i want to get that exact input and then i have to convert and get the price okay and then i have to set the define the variable so we have to define the recipient so who is the recipient going to be so the recipient is going to be the wallet address and the slippage tolerance we have to define is the let's say 
percentage mm. the slippage tolerance we have to define is going to be percentage slippage and deadline that what is the deadline is going to be the deadline is going to be deadline these are the three variables we have taken deadline and will be deadline so hope this makes sense to all of you guys we are passing this data to our shop router to get the output as a alpha router so we are passing all these data so we can get the output of the token we want to show and now once we have that now we have to do the transaction so we'll take a call and we'll say transaction we have the transaction and then we have to pass the object of data so first thing we have to pass the date and then we have to pass the router and this router would be our, and this would be method parameters this one is the first and then we will pass the call data that's the one data we are passing now we have to pass the two and we have our v3 v3 router we have to pass the value well, in the value we have to pass the big number because we want to convert it. We leave this form, and then we have to simply pass the router, the route dot, and the method we have is this method dot ramps, and then we have the value. So make sure to type the exact value if you really want to have an output. We'll take the form, and the form is going to be our wallet address. The wallet address. We have to define the gas price. 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 Big. Big dot from inside that we have to pass the round dot gas price gas price in V then we have to find the gas limit and then we have ether dot utils dot hexa xfi and then we have to simply pass the amount so we'll go with close to six zero so we can assure that we can have the transaction so six zero so that's just pretty fine no more problems we have till now so things are looking good so these are the data we're passing data value data to value and we have from gas and gas limit so three type of data we are passing so that's the transaction we have here now come down in here we're going to take this const we'll take a quote we'll take a quote amount out and then we will pass this route dot quote to fix and we have to pass the six decimal point const ratio we have to take a ratio ratio and this ratio will have the input amount it will have the divided by the output code output amount and we have to simply call this two fixed method so and define the value to three and i believe that most of you are really confused that what are these functions and why we are doing this way because these are all a part of this sdk packages and i'm just utilizing that packages don't need to worry we're going to have a detailed discussion once we build this entire project okay so make sure to follow the way i'm doing it so once we have that now let me do this so we have a lot of data so first thing we're going to be console all the data so we'll pass the code We'll pass the quote amount output and we'll pass the ratio. So these are the data and the data we want to return from this function. So let's return the data because we need the data. So we return and we need the entire transaction, we need the quote amount output and we need the ratio as well. And that's the pretty much you have to do. So we are importing the three packages alpha router, etherjs, and sdk code. And then we have this all functions. Then we have our v3 swap router address, we have the chain ID, we have the provider, we have the alpha router set. These are the two tokens we are just going with hard code, but we're going to change this dynamically. Okay. All you have to do is to pass the addresses. And we have the contract. And we are passing the data to the token and it will give us the data of the tokens and we have the entire function and here we are passing the slip page tolerance router and making the transaction and then we are getting the output so that's looks pretty fine to me everything's looking good here so we close this out and you can see these are the two functions we have written so we have written with this page helper and swap update things looking good to me close this one and now come back to the context and here we are in the context you can see these are the packages we have done and these are the functions we have imported now simply come here copy this one and simply pass this function so we can call this function in our component so let's come here let's pass this price one and we have to simply pass this function as well what is the other function we have update price these are the two functions ready and with this i think we are done with this session hope this entire things makes sense to all of you guys if you still have any confusion any doubt don't need to be worried everything will make sense when we start connecting okay so with that let's move to the next video